So beginning quite early in the morning on January 20th, we have 12 self-organized groups that are going to be symbolically and physically blockading the checkpoints into both the inaugural parade and the inauguration itself. Each checkpoint is being adopted by a different issue area. Um, so it might be a little bit hard for me to list them off the top of my head, but some of the examples are movement for black lives, climate justice, we're gonna have a Standing Rock checkpoint, um, we're gonna have an LGBTQ plus checkpoint, we're gonna have a Future is Feminist checkpoint. Yeah. It's our role and the role of any people of conscience to try to disrupt this inauguration and have a massive showing of resistance on that day. From day one, we have to send a message to the Trump administration that we will not put up with the threat that he is posing to so many communities in this country. Oh, we'd love to see the inauguration close up, but we tried to get tickets and, and we many, many people wanting them. So just see as much as we can and the Smithsonian and all the monuments. There's so much history here we are excited about. It brings me to Washington uh, to witness the inauguration of a new commander in chief. I was given tickets uh, by my congressman, Congressman Corn of Memphis, uh, of the Tennessee area. So. I was honored to receive those tickets, so I uh, decided to come on out and support the Commander in Chief. Baltimore, though, historical, because uh, 44 was the first uh, African American and 45 is the first uh, businessman. No political experience, so this is going to be history in, in itself as well. So it's going to be interesting if he can deliver on some of the promises that he promised the American people during the, uh, during the process. So. More to, more to follow. We'll, we'll see. I came down. I just picked up my tickets for the inauguration. Not a huge uh, supporter of Trump, but I did did vote for him. And I decided it's fun being in the city for the inauguration. It's just. A, dip, a different feel any, than any other time of the year. This year I'm here as a spectator. I think it's going to be a little bit of a, of a different feel, but I think it's still going to be something I'm going to look back at and be willing to tell my kids and my grandchildren about it later on, saying I was at the inauguration, I had a good time. You just, you can't put something, you can't put this in words. It's hard to describe the feeling that you get.